Hi, this is Leah with Pretty Presets for Lightroom, and I want to go ahead and show you quickly how you can use the book module here in Lightroom. So the easiest way to start creating a book in Lightroom is to go ahead and pick the images you want to include in the book first. You want to cull your images. Um, it's a lot easier to make your page spreads and design your book um, when you've already decided which images are important to you. So I've done that here. I have a gallery of images that I'm going to go ahead and use. And so I'm going to take it and I'm going to go over to the book module. From here, there are a variety of little um, changes and tweaks that you can make to make it just right. You can choose uh, what you want your book to look like. If you want it to be a portrait orientation, landscape, square, the type of cover you want, the type of paper you want. Um, those are just the selections you need to make before you start. You can also choose not to do a book through Blurb, which is um, Lightroom's integrated service. You can choose to export your spreads as JPEGs. And uh, you can see here, export to JPEG when you're finished. And if you do that, it allows you to upload the spreads to a vendor of your choice. But keep in mind that um, the pages are not going to match exactly the page size of whichever vendor you choose, because these um, templates here are specifically designed for Blurb. But you can do it. I have done it before. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and design the book. And there are two ways that you can do that. You can do it manually, and you can do an auto layout. So right here in the auto layout feature, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. First, you select your page preset, okay? You can edit layout presets like this. So this is what you're doing here. You can select on the left side and the right side what you want each page layout to look like, okay? So this is same as right side. Um, so let's say we select let's say we select two images like this, okay? Two square images like this. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we can choose the name. Okay, so now, preset, square. So now when we hit auto layout, what's ha gonna happen? Just like that, Lightroom has created the book for us um, based on the predetermined preset we created. Um, you could have just one picture per page, you could have four pictures per page, you can make the left side one picture and the right side two pictures. You can create the layout however you want, and then when you click the auto layout button, it is going to design the book based on that layout. Okay? That's one way. And then the book is done. Literally, you could just go through and sort of, um, you know, adjust the crop on the images like so. You can get a closer look here, you can view a spread, or you can view the thumbnails. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clear this layout, and I'm gonna show you the second way that you can create a book, and that is manually. Manually is like so. You're gonna click on a page, click on the arrow, and then you can decide, do you want one photo, two photos? What do you want this particular page to look, out, to look like? So for me, for this first page, I'm just going to select one photo and I'm going to go ahead and put the sweet family picture as the first, the first one. I like to work in the thumbnail screen. I find it to be easier. I just make the thumbnails a little bit bigger like that. And then I can just scroll through them instead of having to click on, on these features down here. So we'll go ahead and start with that. We'll, we'll call that good. Then we go down to the next page, and we're gonna need to add a page, okay? You can either add a um, page like this, which is going to add a page with the same layout you just used, or you can click Add Blank, which is gonna add a blank layout for you to customize however you want. Okay, so that's what I did. I hit Add Blank. Now for this, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say I wanna include three photos, and I'm gonna include three photos of the three little girls. And then you just drag and drop, drag and drop right in. It's really, really easy. Just like that. And we've got all three little girls, sisters. Okay. And now from here, what do we want this page to be? We can sort of decide. This is just gonna be one photo and I'm gonna do all three sisters together, just like so. 
just like that. It's really, really easy to create your book and to make it look exactly the way that you want. I'm going to go ahead and do, say, four photos for this one. And I think this layout will be good. We're going to add some sort of fun ones. Maybe of the sisters running and whatnot. And then over here, we'll go ahead and add, let's see, which ones haven't I used that I want to. I think that's a pretty cute and funny picture. She was being silly. And then we just go through again and add another page. And let's say, let's do a two page spread. Let's see if we can do one of those. There's a variety of options. I happen to know with this gallery of images that I have that a full bleed all the way um, across either one of these first two is not going to work because I don't have an image that has the subjects more on one side to the other. And I don't want the seam of the book to go right through anyone's face. So I'm going to select, mm, I think, I think this one. We'll choose this one. Okay. And so now it's a two page spread. So whatever image we put in there is going to bleed across both pages. And I'm going to go ahead and do, I think this one of mom dancing with her kids, with her girls. I think that's really cute. And it is on a face, you can see, right? But by clicking on the image, I can change the zoom so that I can zoom it in further. And by zooming it in further, I can then move it over, you see? So now I've got the picture, but I don't have anyone's faces right in the seam of the book, and that's what I wanted. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then maybe we'll add this one over here of them all dancing together, just like that. So you can see it's really easy. Now when you're finished with your book, which I am not clearly, but when you're finished with your book and you have at least 20 pages, all you do is send your book to Blurb, like so. And a pop-up is going to appear that lets you name the book. You can name it whatever you want. Now it's not going to let me upload the book because I don't have at least 20 pages, but you would name your book and then upload your book. It's really easy. And then Blurb will um, notify you when your book is ready to order and you just go to their website and you can go ahead and order your book. You can also um, allow other people to order your book. So if you wanna create a book and you want to let your family members know so that they can order their own copy, um, you can do that and it saves you the hassle of having to order it for everybody and then mail them off individually. So that is Lightroom's book module and making a book and just sort of a brief overview, and I hope you found it helpful.